Hello people from the future, welcome to Normalize Nerd. So this is the part 2 where I am showing you how you can implement your gradient descent algorithm in Python. In the previous part I have already shown you how to how the gradient descent algorithm actually works and I hope that you are feeling very comfortable with the idea of gradient descent and if you haven't watched the previous video then I will request you to please watch that first and then continue with the video okay so in this video I am just going to implement our gradient descent algorithm in Python and uh, what I am going to do with this gradient descent I will be just minimizing this function okay this function 3x square plus 4y square minus 5x plus 7 so I have already plotted it let me just show you the plot so this is the plot of our function and clearly you can see the gradient the minimum lies here okay and in the contour plot it is little bit more easier to see so the gradient uh, the uh, minimum lies here and by applying the gradient descent we are just going to find this point right now you can see that here i have already told in the previous video that uh, this and these are basically the same thing because in machine learning we deal with vectors and if i just uh, define a vector w and inside which contain two uh, if i just uh, declare a variable uh, de declare a vector w with dimension 2 cross 1 so what i will get i will just get this vector w which will contain two elements w0 and w1 and we can treat them as x and y so basically this function is actually similar to this function okay so in python i will be just uh, declare uh, array w and inside of which I will have two element w0 and w1 uh, by in this way I can just uh, simplify the code structure and it will be easier for you to understand okay so let me just jump into the code section okay so here I have already written the function this one and the first function I'm going to define in my code is def f which will take w as its only argument and it will return the value of f of w for a given w0 and w1 and please remember that w is a vector with two elements w0 and w1 and in python i'm going to implement the vector by just using an 1d array with two elements right so it will just return the value of f of w i will copy this function and paste it here and to access the array elements I need to add this square brackets right here also now we are going to add the function which will compute the partial derivatives of f of w with respect to w0 and w1 I will name this function as grad it will take w as its only argument and in this function I'm going to create an array with two elements by the way this is the pythonish way to declare an array with two elements with zero value okay, the first element of this G array we are going to store the partial derivative of f of w with respect to w0 and if you know the calculus you can easily calculate it it will be 6 times w0 and this term will contribute 0 because while calculating the partial derivative with respect to w0 we need to consider w1 as a constant and from this term we will get minus 5 and this is a constant so it will also contribute 0 uh, in the second element of g uh, we are going to store the partial derivative of f of w with respect to w1 and it will be just 8 times w1 and finally we are going to return our array g now we are going to write our most important function for this code which is the function where the actual gradient descent will occur okay this function will take the argument first one is w new second one is w priv 
third one is LR which will denote our learning rate okay and in the first iteration I want to print our initial guess so I will just print the W priv I am also going to print the corresponding value of our f of w for this initial guess so I will be printing f w priv and now we are going to start our while loop and this is the loop which will help us to implement uh, simultaneous updates and iterations so what we are going to do in this loop the first thing we are going to do is to update our w priv to w new before this line the w priv contains the w for the previous iteration but we are going to update the w priv to the w new as calculated from the previous iteration okay so now we are going to perform our simultaneous update if you remember the first video I showed there that if we uh, to implement the gradient descent successfully and the simultaneous update successfully we need to use something called temporary variables and we are exactly going to do that because in that way we are going to avoid the messing up with our values and our gradient descent will work perfectly the first temporary variable I am going to define is w0 which will just contain the updated value of the w0 in the final w new. So I need to write the w priv 0 minus lr and times and what should be there? Well there should be the if you remember the update function clearly then there should be the partial derivative of f of w with respect to w1 and how can we get it we can just get it by using our grad function and we are going to write grad w priv and we need only the first element of this because grad function returns an array with two elements so we are going to take the first element and here we are going to declare another temporary variable which will just We'll copy it from here because they are the same we are just going to replace this 0 by 1 to access the second element and now here's the step where we can actually write the line for simultaneous update so what we are going to do we are just going to replace this w new with a list containing two elements first one will be of course w0 and the second one will be w1 and I will just write a comment here that I multaneous update okay so now I'm going to print the value of w new this way we can see how our gradient descent algorithm actually reaches the optimal minima and I am also going to print the corresponding value of this function now at this point if we run the code it will get into an infinite loop why because I haven't included any break option so we need to break our loop when our algorithm will find the minimum but how our algorithm will know that it has found the minimum well there is a trick we can use what is the trick well we can check the distance between w pref and w new so if the distance between w pref and w new becomes less than a certain value then uh, we can just terminate it so what that mean well actually it means that if in the simultaneous iterations the value of w does not change beyond a certain value then we are going to terminate our loop and in this way we will be finding our minimum and another very very important thing I should mention that in the gradient descent algorithm it 
will almost never gonna find the actual value of this minimum why because our computers have finite precision okay so it will include some amount of error and no matter how much i increase the number of iterations it will all it will always move a bit closer to the actual point but it will never reach the actual point for example if uh, the optimal value is 0, 0,0 it may happen that our algorithm will reach a value very close to 0 suppose 10 to the power minus 9 comma 10 to the power minus 9 but it will never reach 0 and we are going to terminate at that position when the successive iterations does not produce a new w which is uh, at a greater distance than a certain value okay so how we can implement it we will just include a if statement if. now i am going to calculate the distance between w pref and w new and the formula is very simple w new zero minus w pref zero square plus I will just copy it and w1 and if this value is actually less than suppose n to the power minus 6 then I will just break it okay so this is the function for gradient descent now I am just going to call this function descent and the initial value of w I am taking here as 5 comma 10 5 comma 10 and please notice that uh, for the initiation we need to take both w new and w brief as our initial case okay and the learning rate I am picking as 0.03 and if we have implemented our code properly then we will see that our gradient descent will work perfectly and it will find the actual minimum okay let me just run it okay so you can see the last portion that this is the minimum that it has found and let me scroll a bit up and hey this is the first initial guess this is the corresponding value of our function and then after that by the simultaneous update it reaches closer and closer to the minimum and finally it is able to reach the minimum of this function now as i have just mentioned previously that it will never reach the actual minimum but it will reach at a point which is very 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 close to the minimum okay so that was all for this video i hope that you are now very comfortable with the concept of gradient descent and how to implement it in python now there's a lot more about gradient descent because the algorithm i just implemented is the simplest version of that and it will take really a tremendous amount of time if you apply this algorithm for large data sets so there are concepts like mini batch gradient descent, stochastic gradient descent and there are actually uh, alternative optimizing algorithms too. So I will talk about those algorithms in different videos and for now if you are feeling a little bit more enthusiastic about machine learning and feeling comfortable with gradient descent then please like and share this video and please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and thanks for watching.